Greetings and welcome. This is going to be the review of Destiny the Taken King. Uh, it was made by Bungie and it's the expansion pack, uh, large expansion pack that came out in September uh, for Destiny 1. Now I've reviewed Destiny 1 already and I gave it about a 72. It's Last year it was probably the best mediocre game uh, that everyone was playing. I mean it's addictive. And, I mean, for the most part, it's fun, but the grinding can get really repetitive, and there was absolutely no story element. So flash forward to September, this September, of 2015, and they're releasing the, this, so they're releasing the Taken King, and what the Taken King brought was, well, it brought a story, for instance, uh, mm -hmm. this is kind of a new, but it was, it was great, uh, I wouldn't say it was the best story of all time, but it was a story, which is a, definitely a plus. Uh, the, the enemies were, granted they were reusing a lot of stuff because they were taken from other species, so it was the same model, different skins. So they had different powers, and different powers actually worked out pretty good, and I like that. Uh, but what I'm really getting at is the main enemies itself. So Oryx is... Uh, Crota's father. So Crota was a, a bad guy that was inside the moon in his own little realm and in the dark below you basically go down there um, tasked by Eris Morn, which was one of the NPC characters from that DLC to go and defeat Crota and that's what you do in the dark below. Well his father's pissed and now he's coming back and basically wants to wreck all the Guardians. Uh, he seems to be a proponent of the darkness, but they actually characterized a bad guy for once. So he even, had, he even has a little bit of voiceover, he has a little bit of dialogue. It makes it so that there's a little bit more character there. So that was a plus. Other pluses are just, so they, ex they basically expanded overall on the previous game. Now, there was a, ne a huge me negative part of what they did coming into year two, which I'll touch on when I get to the more negative aspects of this. But for the most part, they really expanded on like a lot of things. So the graphics, there was a, it seemed like there was a little bump in the graphics, which the game was already gorgeous anyways. So that was great. Uh, the user interface was overall in a major way. Uh, they added in a new planets like the, the, so they had to account for Saturn and the ring So they they brought in and they made that whole the planet thing better and They the weapons seem to be a lot more balanced now. However, shotguns are still kind of a pain in the butt But that's good. Uh, there's there's more missions and tasks and objectives that you can do now it's not just rinse and repeat the same bounties every week and then I'm gonna do my nightfall I'm gonna do my raid and then uh, maybe I'll do trials that 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 was basically how year one was no one wanted to do any of the uh, court of war oh, no, court of work sorry uh, prison of elders because prison of elders was a pain in the butt so uh, they also the voice acting top notch I mean I, Nathan Fillion was knocked it out of the park. Very good. And then when I get to Halo 5, I'll mention how he also probably steals the show in that game as well. So kudos to you, Nathan Fillion. And they've added cutscenes. Finally. Thank God they've added cutscenes. Uh, before, I don't, I don't even know why they wouldn't put it. Even if they were trying to have kind of an open ended story, why would you not have at least a few cutscenes that kind of explain some of the lore? and some of the other things that are going on here. Well, they've added them, makes it a whole lot better. Character development. So like I touched on with the voice acting, Nathan Fillion's character, Cade Six, is instead of just a vendor, he's he's actually an intricate part of the story itself. And then Eris Morn, how I mentioned with the Dark Below DLC, she's also an integral character to the plot, but they've kind of brought in all the characters, all the NPCs, who basically before were just end, uh, vendors, and now they all kind of have a little bit of more character, and I, I like that. I, they, 
kudos to Bungie for doing that. Finally, thank you. Uh, the raid. So I completed the raid, and it was it was excellent. I loved the jumping puzzles and the different rooms and like the different platforms that you had to stand on, and then different sequences and. That was a lot. That was a blast. Uh, it took me roughly, the first time, it took me roughly three hours to complete. And I was with a bunch of people that hadn't done it before. So that that was fun. It, it was fun to do a raid without having somebody in it for the first time. Because before I had I had like a Sherpa or something of that nature that brought, brought me through it. So this was a lot more fun doing it that way. Even though it took three hours. Uh, what else? So, they've right. had events, so, yeah, they've had events such as the Arms Day, which was a, they finally gave the gunsmith something to do, and some of the weapons there have been pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't say they're the best weapons, but some of them have been pretty decent. I got a good rocket launcher a while back from Suro, so I used a, uh, a scout rifle that was pretty decent as well, but, I mean, I'm still kind of clinging to my hung jury from... Dead Orbit, it's kind of my favorite, so that's what I've been using. Uh, but the timed events, so they've, they've been, like last year they've had Iron Banner and all that, but they, they actually have a few other things, like this ho new Halloween one that they just had. Um, I thought it was good. Uh, it brings people back into it a little bit, and it gives, I don't know, it just it, it's cool to change things up a little bit. These little little things. It's the little things that count. Sometimes less is more, you know. And so, I, I just thought it was all very clear. Uh, so let's get into some of the cons. So, uh, I do, what the major con here is that I hate, 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 hate that they got rid of basically everything in year one. Like it basically made year one completely useless. Uh, I've had no reason to go back and play Prison of Elders, I've had no reason to go back and play Crow's End, uh, the, the Vault of Glass, uh, I haven't had any reason to go back and do any of those, so that's kind of a problem, especially since they did add a lot of content with this expansion pack, but it nullified everything that came before it. I mean, all I had to do was just modify it like slightly or, or something, you know, or make it so that the weapons from year one and the armor from year one carried over. Maybe when Destiny 2 ro rolled around, then maybe then you could, you know, implement something like this and nullify everything that came before it. But, like, I don't know. I just thought it was a terrible decision. I mean, that was my major con. A few other stuff is, like... The lag still persists in multiplayer. Uh, Iron Ban Banner was just terrible. There was no really good rewards. Um, not really worth doing. I've still kind of... I, I wish they would make larger maps and include some of the vehicles. I mean, why can't we use our sparrows more? I mean, you can use them, but like, why can't there be maps that incorporate the use of sparrows or... I don't know. Something. Just open it up a little bit and, and then it would make it fun to have a couple sniper matches or, or something not everything has to be close quarters shotguns and hand cannons you know and then another major thing microtransactions love them hate them that i think it's up to everyone's personal opinion but i don't necessarily like them. uh the only way i could probably be on board with this is if future dlc is free yeah, due to people done. buying microtransactions for dance. I know so far they haven't used the microtransactions for anything that's actually of value. Other than, it's just emotes. So, whatever. you know. But, I can totally see how this can become used, and this is the first step, and I don't want it to see going down that way. Uh, also, the economy is still, is still bad. Left. It's still bad. They need to fix it. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do, uh, but it's, it, it still needs some improvement. Overall, though, I so we have a new scale in, uh, for rating that me and Chris came up with. It's kind of more funny, lighter scale, because I'm trying not to be serious, because I'm a very serious person myself. Anyways, uh, but I gave this a Butt Pirate Slaying Ninja Yeti Award, so good job, Bungie.
solid expansion pack. A few negatives there, but I like the direction it's going now. Just hopefully the microtransactions don't get abused. Thanks for watching. This has been Bearded Yeti Gaming, and uh, like, subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.